Hi my beautiful Scorpios and welcome to Arcana Priestess. For those of you guys that are new, welcome and if you are returning, I am so glad to have you back, my favorite babies. Okay you guys, so um, if you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe as that is always greatly appreciated. Every new subscriber who doesn't already know, we do giveaways for all of my subscribers every single month you get entered in a free giveaway to win a free 15 minute tarot reading. If you want more giveaways, follow me on Instagram where we do giveaways every single week, as well as we do random pop-up, random pop-up videos and random daily messages. Other than that, personal readings are in the description box below. I have our 2021 forecast and six months ahead forecast available for the next month or so. Depending on how many go through, I'm only gonna sell a certain amount of them and then I am gonna close it. So it's kind of a first come, first serve basis. Your second intimate reading is available as well. So if you haven't already seen that, I will link that in the description box below as well. Okay, so the link to my personal Instagram as well is gonna be in the description box for the personal Instagram it is going to be all about business I'm going to be sharing my tips on starting a business from start to finish all of that stuff is going to come around November it was supposed to come in October but there has been a lot of delays as you guys probably have been experiencing delays too with Mars in retrograde but um, I truly believe that those delays are absolutely for a reason and I can see the reasons already so if you guys are experiencing setbacks too know that you may not be able to see it now but soon you're going to realize that it's okay. Everything's going to be good. And I feel like mid-November, things are going to start moving forward. So yeah, there's going to be lots of advice, lots of tips for business owners, entrepreneurs um, to share your businesses, you know, get your stuff out there as well as just learn from the way that I have, you know, built this business, the way that I'm building my next business and whatnot. So I do think that all of you guys will benefit from there because I am going to be sharing my life story. And, you know, part of the reason, reason that I found out who I was but was by realizing and researching information on Scorpios realizing that there's a lot of Scorpios that go through the same thing I do that I'm not alone and um yeah so you guys especially are the main ones that I want over there but of course only go if that's what you truly feel called to do so let's see you guys I'm going to do a nine card spread and it is going to be how your person views you this is you through the eyes of the person that is on your mind the most Show me what we need to see for Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. First card, King of Pentacles. Wow, somebody wants to take care of you. They don't know. It's like, how do you get a present for somebody when they have everything? That's kind of how this person feels. This person feels like you have experienced so many things. You are just so, I'm hearing life smart. You're more street smart, life smart from experience. Um... You take care of everybody and this is somebody who wants to finally come in and take care of you but some of you don't know how to accept this help ace of cups somebody is falling in love here some of you you have a king of pentacles taurus for or capricorn that's going to come in and kind of sweep you off your feet um you've been so used to taking care of everything for yourself being on your own doing your own thing that you're not going to understand how to accept this love some of you, you're in a toxic relationship and this person is kind of coming in as your reminder that there is real love out there and that you don't have to settle for what you're currently going through. You have somebody that's very serious about you. Five, five of Swords came out in every reading today. I only did four bonuses. Um, and thank you guys so much for all of your subscribes and your views. So I am doing, I told you guys I'm doing, I don't think I have to even say it for you guys because you guys have always been the top views, but uh, the top views and the top subscribers always get bonus readings from now on. I'm not doing four videos a week. I'm doing, or four videos a month. I'm doing two videos a month and whoever gets the most subscribes, um, whoever gets the most views are going to get bonuses. So for this month, it was Libra, Aries, sorry for this week, it's Aries, um, Libra, Scorpio, and Pisces. But realistically, you guys have always been like my number one. You guys always subscribe, you guys always comment, you guys always, it's because we have very similar experiences. I can tap in with you guys the most. I truly believe that, you know, probably a good chunk of my clients are all Scorpios too. So, you know, but um, yeah, so this is your bonus reading. But Five of Swords came out in every single reading. Self-sabotage with you. It's not, this is the only time. It's not the other person. Huh. 
the truth is going to be revealed that you are the only one stopping you from getting the love that you deserve. Yeah, it's it's cutthroat, you guys. Got to be honest with you. You're self-sabotaging yourself. You're thinking that, oh, I need to focus on work. I need to focus on money. I need to focus on this. I need to focus on that. Yes, do that if you don't have the right person coming in. But if this new person is coming in, the way that they're presenting themselves, you need to put that, you know, you don't have to pause it, but take some time to have this love. Take some time to have this new love. <laughs> this is actually relating to me too. That's very interesting. You can handle it all. You can handle it all. You can have it all. You can have it all, Scorpio. Remember that you can have it all. Some of you have people that feel like they need to possess you. Like, you, you're so giving, right? You're so giving, you're so attentive that when you put your energy back, people notice and they don't like it. You, to people that have had really horrible childhood experiences, parents that weren't that loving, you come in and you're like the mother or the father for that person. And some of you have this new relationship and you may have a friend that's going to try and sabotage your relationship. If you have new love coming in, do not listen to anybody except for yourself or somebody that you hire. And I've been sharing that information with a lot of people because people that are your friends and your family, they get too emotionally attached. They can't see it from an outside perspective because they're so attached to you. So if you have a therapist, talk to them about this new love, get their opinion. If you have a reader that you see consistently, talk to that reader and get their opinion. You know, but when it comes to family and friends, I feel like they are kind of seeing it through this energy where they're kind of getting a little bit jealous and a little bit possessive and seeing anybody else as a threat because that person would be taking away your time. And it seems a little bit crazy. And for some of you, the person that this is that I'm talking about, you're not even going to know who this person is. Um, you would be very shocked because they probably come off as nonchalant, do what you want, see you when I see you, but that's not how they feel. Some of you, it's the fact that you're in a, um, an open relationship or a casual connection and now you're starting to date somebody or there's somebody new coming in and this person's acting all threatened by it, but they're acting, they're acting. So they're not showing you that they're threatened by it. They're actually doing like a reverse psychology on you in a sense. All right, let's see you guys. Show me what else my lovers need to see. The sun, so it did want to come out. The sun card, so some of you could be dealing with the Leo. The truth of how somebody truly feels for you is coming out. Somebody has been trying to pretend like they don't have strong feelings for you for a while now. Um, you guys have feelings for somebody, some of you for sure, and that's about to come out too. And it, it's time, like, I'm seeing the card. It's safe for you to love. What the? Yes, it is. Look at this, the two of cups. Yes, it is. It is safe for you to love. Look at this, you guys. Yes, you've had relationships that dragged you through the mud. Yes, you've been hurt, you've been lied to, you've been cheated, you've been betrayed. But that's in the past. You guys, look at this, the world. You're ending a cycle and you're starting a new cycle, you guys. You're starting a new cycle. And your past can't come with you. You have to leave it behind you bring your past or if you allow your past to enter this new life even if you just want to rub it in their face you can't you cannot you have to leave them where they came leave them where they were leave them where they were ace of cups two of cups here some of you guys are meeting your soulmate finally and it's going to be it's going to be too good to be true i'm not going to lie to you guys it's 100 percent going to seem like it is too good to be true but it is not you went through all of that to finally get to this person. You went through all of that to finally get to this person. Think about it like that. Some of you have a very serious offer of love coming in here. Some of you, if you've been in a long-term relationship, this could be an engagement. 
if you are living long distance, your person is like, no, they don't want that anymore. Somebody's going to be making a move and offer to move in together is definitely going to be made here. Somebody is going to be making a grand gesture. You've always given and you're finally going to have somebody that gives to you and you've always wanted that. You've always wanted somebody to give to you because you've always been the giver. But now that you have it, you don't know how to accept it. But this person is going to be patient with you and they're going to teach you how to accept it. I think that you have somebody coming in that's very sweet, very charming. And the thing is, is they're very honest and they're authentic. And you are going to know with everything in you, in your heart, and in your intuition. Some of you, this is somebody you're already with. But you're going to know that you can trust this person. But your head is still going to tell you otherwise. Your self-doubt, that little double energy that we all have within us is still going to try to tell us otherwise. But this is somebody who's going to be so patient with you and they're just going to stand by your side. And, you know, whatever you try to throw their way to push them away, it's not going to work. So try. They're going to tell you, give me your best shot. Give me your best shot. The moon. Yeah, for some of you, this is somebody who has had feelings for you for quite a long time and they're now only finally trying to tell you. They're not only gonna like tell you. And you know, I'm a Scorpio too and I feel like my heart chakra is like open and like just flowy. Like I, I have my, I got my nails done and they're pink. And now I have these pink cards. Like I literally got a whole thing for your reading only. And it's, there's four decks, four pink decks here that I'm using. Like, this is all love, heart chakra flowing. Some of you guys, it's time to get some roses in your house or some flowers. Spruce up the place. Make yourself feel beautiful. Like, you don't have to feel beautiful because you're going on a date. You need to feel beautiful every single time you walk into your kitchen and you see a beautiful set of roses. You know what I mean? Every single time um, you walk into your car and you smell that very expensive incense, or not incense, um, car freshener right that luxurious candle that's by your bedside or that beautiful bath that you're taking at night it's time to pamper yourself baby sorry this was the last deck oops i don't even know what's going on this is the last pink one that i was showing you guys um but yeah you guys are needing to treat yourself you need to spoil yourself you guys your birthday is coming up and i think that right now is the time for you to kind of sit back but I think things are slowly, you know, your Mars is going to go direct around the 13th. And I think right now we're kind of in this retrograde energy where it's kind of like we're sitting there. We may feel like life is passing us. We may feel like we knew exactly where we were going a couple of weeks ago. But then all of a sudden we're at a standstill and we have no idea what's going on. But just know that everything is happening in the exact way that it is meant to happen for you. Everything is happening in the exact way that it is meant. So let's see what else we can get for you guys. The Two of Swords. Yeah, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Because some of you feel like you're going to be choosing yourself over your person or choosing your person over yourself. And that is not the case. You can have it all. Hi Scorpio, I'm so sorry. Your reading got cut off because we did an unexpected um, alarm drill. So I had to wait till the next day to be able to finish your reading. So here we are guys, there was only like one card left. So that's just so annoying, but I wasn't gonna leave you guys with a cut off reading. And the card, I left it here. I left the whole spread here overnight. So the card was the five of wands. Five of Wands, Five of Swords, the world here. I think for some of you guys, the only thing that you could possibly do to sabotage, the only thing that you could possibly do to sabotage this beautiful new beginning that you're about to enter into is um, self-sabotage. Self-sabotage or holding on to the past, clinging on to what is no longer serving you because you're not yet ready to move forward, but you are ready to move forward. Some of you guys, this is retrograde. There's going to be a lot of exes that are going to come back. I think that there is something beautiful coming towards you, whether this is a new relationship, whether this is an expansion of your current relationship, changes in your career. I really think that you're just in general raising your vibration, but there are going to be tests. There are going to be times where you feel lonely because you're in a standstill where you can tell that something's about to happen. You can tell that there's going to be a change, but you're not exactly sure what that change is. So I think that you guys need to just chill back a little bit and wait um, because 
it's gonna be beautiful it's gonna be something that's gonna be absolutely beautiful but you guys are gonna be tested you know the, the more tests or the closer you get the more you're gonna be tested and i really think that you guys just have to ignore outside influences ignore your self-doubt and just go for it because it's like what do i have to lose what do you really have to lose i think that the bigger the risk the bigger the reward around this time for you guys all right so let me pull you guys some of these um oracle cards and then we're gonna end off On the rebound, yeah, look, be careful because I told you there's going to be an ex that's coming back and I feel like it's because you're going towards this new level, you're going to be tested and I feel like this ex could definitely be on the rebound here, um, especially if you were left for another person. I don't think that that connection is over. I think that they're just going through issues within that connection due to, if you were in a third party situation, the person that they left you for, they already had, they had that person in another third party situation and that person found out about that and now they're on the rocks and this person wants to come back to you so that would make it a fourth party situation so you guys be careful with the people that you have coming back into your life because none of them have good intentions um someone is on the rebound this could be a confusing ride take things slow yeah and be careful when you're meeting new people that they are not on the rebound here because you are so much more than that divine timing we can never manipulate time you can only work with it start working hand in hand with your divine timing yeah things are happening for you in divine timing you guys are lining up with everything but i just wanted to say quickly for those of you that are like oh it doesn't matter if they're on rebound i just want to hook up i just want a one night stand you're still taking in that energy of that third party so just if you even just want something casual just go with somebody that's over their past that doesn't have their past baggage on their back all right, one more of these they're saying. Let's see. Show me what else Scorpio needs to see. Common law union. You may have a living relationship that is bound by love without the, oh, without the materialistic. Okay, so for some of you guys here, you guys are like common law. You're bound by common law here, but you're not married to this person. You know what I mean? It's just that you've been living with this person for a very long time. Um... Some of you guys may need to worry that, may need to watch out if you think that because you've been living with somebody for a long time and you know, you've been doing this, doing that, but you haven't set clear boundaries, but because it's been so long, they must only be seeing me. That is not the case. So be very careful with that. Um, don't ever assume anything. Always get, I'm, I'm hearing always get it in writing. In, intense. <laughs> always get it in writing. Uh, some of you, if you're trying to get a lease with somebody, you know, make sure that their name is on the lease too, that it's not just your responsibility um you know get it in writing you know the their bank account you know just because somebody says they have a certain amount of money doesn't mean that they don't so there could be some people that are trying to piggyback off of your success here so be careful with that we have a leap you go first the universe will catch you yes that is exactly what i was just saying the bigger the leap the bigger the reward scorpio your birthday is coming up you're going to be blessed you're going to be blessed but you're only going to get the blessings that you think you deserve if you don't think you can get it how the heck are you going to get it but if you think you can get it no matter how crazy it sounds you can get it and trust me i am living proof of that i am a scorpio who was once very negative and very i had a very limited mindset because of the way that i was raised and the way that i grew up but i broke through that i broke through that and you guys can do it too i believe in every single one of you guys because i know that the, i love doing the lives for you guys because the energy in the room is just so it can be overwhelming for sure but it is power it's power and you guys are powerful. And I just saw soul family, which means you guys are coming into your soul family. All right, you guys, let's see. Last one. Transformation is not your card. Things are changing at a cellular level. Deep healing. Yeah, some of you guys, you can't tell what's happening. You just have to go with the flow and trust it. Just trust it. Yeah, you guys, sitting on your throne sitting on your throne the energy around you is oh it's just amazing all right you guys that is what i have for you thank you so much for taking the time to watch thank you guys so much for your likes your shares your subscribes that's what got you guys this bonus so keep up the good work because i really don't feel like there will ever be a time where scorpio isn't one of the main ones getting a bonus but i appreciate all of you guys you guys mean the world to me personal readings are in the description box below instagram is in the description box below as well as my personal instagram for those of you who are business owners or wanting to be business owners or even just wanting to get to know me on on a more personal level. I love you guys. Have a beautiful rest of your week and I will see you soon, my loves.